So, okay guys, we're gonna get into this tutorial. Today I'm gonna be using IC Hair. Um, I'm using 613 hair, so it is pre-bleached hair. So it's really easy to watercolor. So I began to boil my water, but about a minute or two before I dip the hair in the water, I make sure I turn the heat off and just make sure you use an old pot um, unless you're going to transfer the water to like a plastic container or whatever. But this is what the hair looks like. It's 613 hair and I use the colors Rich Eggplant from the Adore line and Lavender and I mix those two together at first and I poured both bottles into the water that is not the way you should do it at all what you should do is put like two caps full of the hair dye into the water mix it up and then do one bundle at a time this way didn't work too well because the color didn't attach to every single bundle that we put in there but you know I figured out a better way to do it once I had to re-dip the hair and go to the hair store and get more dye because we did it completely wrong so just make sure you are mixing it up and doing one bundle at a time so that the bundle goes all the way to the bottom and you know makes the hair one full color and it gets really really rich like the color will be nice and pigmented so after doing that the hair came out purple 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 after the second time of dipping it so this is when the hair was kind of pink and we went to the hair store and got more hair this is my friend marissa helping me out because we had no idea what we were doing and um, we figured out that you have to do one bundle at a time and it's just easier to kind of unravel the bundles and then clip them together and then you got your good nice eggplant purple color so this is the like pinky shade that we dipped the first time and then this is the color we got the second time as you can see, it's more of an eggplant color. That's what I was going for. So now we're gonna go into making the wig. This is what the frontal looks like. Personally, I like my frontals to look a little bit more hairline-ish like, <laughs> you know what I mean? This hairline is just a little too straight for me, so I'm just gonna customize it a little bit. What I'm gonna do is take some T-pins and I'm gonna put that on my um, wig block and kind of you know tack those in there so that our frontal does not move around i'm gonna spray my frontal with some water this is just plain water and this is just gonna help the frontal lay a little bit better so i can see what the hairline looks like when it's wet it just helps me to it just helps <laughs> okay so then i begin to part the hairline i have a really really detailed in-depth video i will link it right here um, so that you can check that out if you want to know how I actually pluck and I give you really good tips and tricks in that video But what I like to do is kind of pluck in a zigzag like motion And I just go in and pluck Each little hair out I just make sure I pull some of the baby hairs out so that I don't pluck those out first And then I go in between each like little part and just pluck some so that the scalp isn't so thick and it just makes it look a little bit more natural. I'm not a pro at plucking, but I've gotten kind of good at it, you know, like kind of decent. I'm not a professional, but this is just how I do it. And then I take some of the baby hairs out, put some foaming lotion on it, and just kind of swoop over my baby hairs. The foaming lotion just acts as gel, but it doesn't stick and it doesn't hold the hair down. So it kind of lets you see what the hair would look like if you were to lay the baby hairs. So I'm just using a toothbrush and kind of swooping the baby hairs over just to see what the hairline would look like. And this is what it's looking like. I mean, um, it's not super perfect, but I mean, I think it looks pretty decent, you know? So this is what the hairline is looking like up close. It just looks like... I don't know it just looks like a hairline with baby hairs I guess now I'm gonna use some foundation and I'm going to put that all over the frontal um, this just helps my frontals to look like scalp when I actually put it on my head so I just like to cover it in foundation you can spray it with hairspray as well um, just to seal it in but I really like doing that with my frontals so now it's time to make the wig I take a dome cap and I make sure that the back of the frontal is laying flat on my dome cap. The front doesn't matter, you want the back to be laying flat and I use T-pins to hold the back down. 
and this just prevents the frontal from slipping around while I'm sewing it down to the dome cap now this frontal for me was a little bit too big when I applied it to my head so I did have to cut it so just don't worry about if your frontal is big you don't have to wrap it around your head or anything just kind of pull it down to the sides and you'll be good to go so the front can be really really bunchy bunchy is that a word it can just be like this it really doesn't matter because at the end of the day you're gonna like lay that down anyway so I'm gonna braid up the hair so that it's not in my way while I'm sewing it just makes it a lot easier because I don't have to deal with hair getting caught in the thread and all that so I do have a more detailed video on this um, but I just basically start sewing I do um, a couple of loops at the beginning of the the hair I don't know what to call it <laughs> the beginning of this part and then I just do regular sewing motions I don't know I don't do anything special I just kind of sew I just want to make sure that this hair doesn't move off the dome cap that is my main objective like for the hair to be attached to the dome cap and for me to make the most basic wig ever you know and I'm just sewing that down to the front part so now since you want your scalp to look like scalp you have to cut that dome cap from underneath the wig now that it's kind of like a wig so you just have to cut that piece off and then you have your frontal and it'll look like scalp see And I just put that back on the dome cap and I'm just going to pin that back down so that nothing is moving around. As you can see, it's looking more like realistic. I actually like that braid in the, the front part of the frontal, but I didn't keep it there. <laughs> now we're going to start adding the tracks. Um, yeah, I got a little bit lazy. You guys will see in a second, but I like to P10, P10, T pin. <laughs> the tracks down on the sides and then begin to sew the tracks down to the back um i got really lazy while sewing i did like three or four tracks sewing them and it it was gonna take me like four days to complete this wig since this wig was only made for myself i was like you know what i'm about to glue this wig down like i just used some bonding glue and began to glue the tracks down to the dome cap and it was just so much easier for me I've done a wig where I've glued it before and it was just so much faster so much quicker and my wig or wefts never fell off like I washed the wigs and everything and they never fell off as you can see there's a hole in my wig but honestly that doesn't even matter um, I just kind of sewed it back together and it was good but yeah I just started gluing the tracks down with bonding glue and um, I just had to blow dry it a little bit most of the time to make it stay and it's really stuck to that dome cap like for real so I just began to close the wig up adding more tracks and I only used three bundles of the hair I did not use four uh, my head is kind of small so I do not need four bundles <music> Now I'm going to show you guys how I lay the wig to my head. This is really easy. All I do is put my wig cap on. I like to use a wig cap that's really close to my scalp color. And I take some got to be glued hairspray and I pull the, the wig cap down more on my forehead and I begin to spray the glue along my hairline. This just makes it really easy to lay that cap down. I'm basically doing the bald, bald cap method and I'm just blow drying it down so that it stays intact and then I take some scissors and I begin to cut um, in front of the spray that we just laid down and this is just gonna make it so that our hair is laid down underneath our cap one and two it'll create like this false um, scalp so that it doesn't look like there's a wig cap underneath your wig you know what I mean so I'm sure if you're watching this video, you know what the bog cap method is, but it, it is really efficient. Sometimes it's just annoying because you have to keep laying your wig and laying your wig, but if you're good at it, you can keep doing it. So I take some small scissors and I cut around my hairline just 
um, pretty close to the hairs and everything so that it looks more realistic. And then I take a little bit more spray, actually a lot more spray, <laughs> and just lay the wig down. And it, it, honestly, this way was really easy. I've never done it like this before. Um, using the actual gel is a little bit harder and it takes a lot longer to dry. The spray was really easy, really, really easy. And it laid down really quickly. Um, I'm taking a little bit of the spray and I'm using a toothbrush and I'm just kind of laying those baby hairs down. And this is what it's looking like. So I'm gonna show you guys how I layer it really quick. I'm using some house scissors, okay? I'm not a professional <laughs> and I didn't really care. This was weave anyway. So I'm just layering the hair a little bit so that my curls will fall properly. If you don't lay your weave, or sorry, if you don't layer your weave, your curls, if you like to curl your hair, it's not gonna lay right. I always used to struggle with that because I'd be like, how do girls get that volume in their hair? And it's because their hair is layered. So you definitely have to layer your bundles. I know a lot of people are like, oh my God, I don't wanna cut my bundles. But honestly, if you want that cute, volumized curl look, you have to cut your bundles. You have to layer your hair. If you can't do it yourself, get someone to do it but it just shapes your face it makes your wig look better and more bouncier it gives you more volume all that good stuff so i'm just doing a couple of like deep layers just so that my curls will lay right and i just kind of go on a diagonal motion framing my face with some house scissors <laughs> now i'm taking some garnier fructis um flat ironing spray just to kind of protect the hair a little bit and i begin to curl my hair with my curling iron and honestly guys i've been doing this for such a long time like curling my my weave like this i i don't know it's just hard to explain all i do is just curl it and for the like bang part i like to curl my hair the opposite way and then flip it over because it just makes your hair have more volume and I like to pin it so that the heat kind of marinates in the hair and it makes the curl last a lot longer and it gives it a lot more boom you know so I curl my hair the opposite way that my bang is going and it just gives me more volume you know <laughs> So this is the hair guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what color you want me to try next because I'm really feeling this grape soda, purple juice, grape drink hair. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm feeling it. I really like it. And I never thought in a million years that I would do color hair but I really love it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it and I will see you guys in the next video.